uh, now in Primavera, we will see how to add a project for a specific EPS. So for that, we can go for enterprise and then projects. So once you click that, the project window will be appear and here you can go for plus icon over here to add a new project. So I'm just clicking that. Now we can go for selecting our EPS. So the EPS that we have created before that I'm going to select. So construction company EPS I'm just selecting. So you can double click it so it will select it. And then I'm just going for next. And here the project ID we can specify. For example, construction company India Limited. So CCIL construction company India Limited. And I'm just going for next. And you can specify the start date. So start date it is taking today's date. If you want, you can just click it and you can just select the date you want. If you're clicking this, it will be appearing as this window. There you can select the month and then you can go for date. You can go for previous years like that. If you want a future dates, you can go for future dates and you can select the date what you want. Like for example, this project, you are going to start by uh, Feb. You can go for Feb and then you can choose the date. So now 1st February on 2021, it will start. If you have any restriction must finish by, you can specify here as well, but don't do that. But for some specific projects, we will be doing that. And I'm just going to put next and the responsible manager we can assign. So responsible manager, we can assign from the OBS that we have created before. So all in enterprise only. So where you can go for selecting the responsible manager. For example, uh, you can go for new construction MD as the responsible person. So just double click it and then go for next. Here the rate type, you can go for standard rate or external rate or internal rate price per unit for price per unit five. These are all we will see later. So standard rate we can go for. Sometimes, you know, like uh, external rate, external rate might be having some contractor profit, something like that. So it will be varying. So standard rate in the sense it could be better. I'm just going for standard rate and I'm just going for next. So congratulations, your new project has been created to modify your project properties and different properties not covered by this wizard. Click on the enterprise menu and then click projects. So you can go for finish. Now we have created. One project that we can go and see where it is uh, this one ccil we have created under cc eps enterprise project structure so it is here and to open this project you can right click and open but before that now we can go for studying these things like in general what we have and everything so for this project in the general we have project id project name and uh, status active or uh, we can put inactive planned or what if these things and then the responsible manager from here also we can select and uh, check out status it is like checked in we can check out later also if you are putting checked out you need to put the name and the date and everything and the project leveling priority we can put based on our like uh, a priority like uh, if it is like a, a more priority you need to put one if it is like a less priority you can go for 10 and the project website url if you want to put any website here you can put for example www.google.com I'm just going to put launch. So once you put launch, it will go to the website that you have input over there. Can you able to see that? So like that, you can able to put your project website. And then I'm just going for notebook. So this notebook topics and everything we will see later here. Budget log, spending plan, budget summary, and then See here in budget summary, can you able to see the rupee icon? Normally by default, this rupee icon won't come. We need to like do something. And dates you can put and then funding you can put 
and codes here only the project codes will come so if you want to assign some project codes we can go for i'm just going to assign some project code see we have created some codes here i'm just going to you can just specify individually and you can assign for this project you can go only one project code it is like consultancy project or a build own operate or turnkey project so i'm just going for consultancy project and we assigned it and then again i'm just going for defaults in defaults also we have some options these things we can uh, able to like change in later also i'm just going to select the calendar now that calendar that we have created six days calendar i'm just going to put select and the cost account and everything also we can able to go the, these things we will see later and here the activity id prefix is a so that's why in activity when you are creating activity it is coming with the prefix a and even the uh, activity id suffix also have thousand suffix with an increment of 10 so it should be like uh, a 1010 or a 1020 like that it will be if you want to change also you can change it and then going for resources in resources we have standard rate these things also if you want you can change it and settings we have something here these things we will see later and for calculation also you can put all these things so here in project we have seen all these tabs and we have like uh, created we have assigned some codes and we also assigned like a calendar in default tab now if you want to open the project you can just uh, click that project and then right click and you can go for open project so once you put open project you will go to activities automatically uh, here you can able to go for creating so for that i am just going to put so so here we can able to put activity now can you able to see the activity a prefix and then thousand with the increment of 10 so like this you can able to put activities over here but if you want to create some uh, wbs for this project you can go for enterprise and then you need to go for project and then wbs and then here you can able to create the wbs so wbs in the sense work breakdown structure and it is like a hierarchical arrangement of our uh, like a project so each project in our eps will be having one wbs so this wbs you know you can go for wbs code up to 20 characters and then wbs name up to 100 characters and we can able to create up to 50 levels for our WBS. Now I'm just going to create one WBS and then we can go for naming it. For example, engineering. And then again, I'm just going for general. And you can make this arrow so it will be like this. And if you're adding below, and it will be coming as CCIL 2.1 and if you are again adding it will go further CCL 2.1.1 like that like this you can able to add multiple WBS to our project so you can able to see that in our activities so WBS also coming here can you able to see that and if you don't want some activities you can delete as well select everything and you can click this icon and then you put s yes. like this you can able to do and if you want to add activities under this wbs you can go for adding and if you want uh, something here you can go for adding like this you can able to go for act adding activities so now we have seen how to create a project and under project how to create wbs and under wbs how to create activities